Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the CC Sphere effect. We'll take a flat graphic of a map, add the CC Sphere effect, and then I'll show you how you can animate it on the Y rotation to create the spinning globe effect. And I will also show you how you can add a background. If the graphic you're using is transparent, such as a logo, I'll show you how you can easily add a background color to your CC Sphere effect. For my background, I just have this image of grass that I got from Envato Elements. I created this little shape layer that I'm gonna use for the shadow, and I just put a little Gaussian blur on it. I'll put that underneath the globe. And then I just have this map image that I downloaded also from Envato Elements. I'm just gonna drag it right onto the composition. Now I'm gonna to go to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the Window menu, Effects and Presets. Click in the search field and just start typing out Sphere. S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. There you will see the CC Sphere effect. I'm just gonna drag it right onto the map layer or whatever graphic you want to wrap into a sphere. And just like that, we have ourselves a globe. Pretty cool. If I drag the CTI, you'll see there's no animation automatically added. I'll twirl open rotation, and you'll see you have the option to animate on the X, Y, or Z axis. So you can animate the CC sphere effect in 3D space, only you don't have to make the layer 3D. There's also a rotation order. So if you have a more complex animation and you want to control the order, you can do so with this. There's a radius, so you can control the size of this. You can also do that down in the layers panel. I'm gonna ignore the light, but I'm gonna open up the shading. I'm gonna bring up the ambient to 100, and I'm gonna turn down the others. I don't want any shading on this. So I just wanna keep it nice and simple. And to animate the CC sphere effect on the Y axis, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna press the Option key, press Alt if you're on Windows. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to Rotation Y property. I'll come down to the timeline to the Expression Editor, I'm gonna enter in the simple expression, time asterisk 25. I'll turn on my shadow layer, tap the spacebar. My world is turning. And if you wanna reverse directions, just click in the expression, enter a minus symbol before the number, and that will reverse the direction of the sphere. I'm gonna select the CC sphere effect and copy it to the clipboard, Command C. Now I will show you how to add a background to a transparent image such as this pattern of my logo that I created in Illustrator. Add any background you want. I'm just gonna create a new solid by right-clicking, New, Solid, make it comp size, click OK. I'll drag the solid below the logo. Now here is the key. You need to pre-compose the transparent graphic and your background. So I'll select the logo and the solid. I'm gonna right-click, go to pre-compose, move all attributes, Click OK. Now I'm just going to paste the CC Sphere effect onto the pre-comp, but if you did not have anything copied to your clipboard, then just go to the effects and presets, drag the CC Sphere effect onto the pre-comp layer, and just like that, I have myself a spinning logo globe. If you do have some spacing issue, go into the pre-comp, try adjusting the position or the scale. It might take some fine tuning. I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. Go back and you'll see that does the trick there. And that is the CC Sphere Effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.